Okay, we're doing how-to video on how to install this wedge lock uh, hardware on a T-post for corner brace and getting ready to do a corner brace here. Line's going to run this way and this way. So, um, just to show you real quick, there are three pieces and we're only going to do one side. But it's pretty straightforward. Basically, you, uh, you have this socket piece that is going to slip down into, depending on if you're going up or down, it's going to slip down into uh, this hook. And you got to make sure it, it go, you push it down all the way till this, uh, this little lip here slams up against this hoop. So I think it's almost a, you got to click it, sort of, and you can check it somewhere. Okay, yeah, it's on there. Yeah, there's the view. So it, it, it's all the way up against. So then if you want it, uh, your X brace going down, that one will be on top. And then if you want it uh, going up, you're doing the bottom one, it'll, it'll orient like this. And the last piece is um, you slip this lock in and the t post going to be in there and you're just going to slip that in right in there and it fits snug like that. And uh, it's tricky, especially if you're doing a corner where it goes both ways, the orientation. I know in the instruction manual I think they tell you to, uh, to miss the lugs that stick out on the t post, those little, those little bumps that stick out on one side. Uh, but I've found you're able to get it in even if you do land on top of one of those lugs, depending on how bad you want this to s sit at that location. Uh, you can use, you can go either way, but you might need a hammer to, to do the final tamp it down. So um, it's important also that when you install your corner brace that the, when the brace comes up, it comes to the corner. You don't want uh, you don't want it going down to the corner. You want it going up to the corner, and likewise up to the corner. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start by installing uh, the corner brace. And I've heard that uh, in in an old YouTube video I saw that you want you get m most of your strength if your line is running this way to position the lugs so that they go in the direction of the line as well. But when you're doing a corner, both directions, you don't really have a choice. So I would say put the lugs going towards your longer line or maybe your line that has more hills. Whichever one's going to have more potential tension uh, on this pipe or, or a T-post. So my longer line is this way, so I'm going to go ahead and install it. And I've got rocks here, so this might be a challenge. Brought my uh, stud bar here. Thing's worth its weight in gold, or it should be. And uh, you need this uh, post driver, and it should be good to go. much easier than I thought it would be. So now, uh, what you got to do next is you got to lay, I'm going to do this line next actually, and figure out where to put your next post. You've got to lay one post down, the one you're going to use for your brace, and uh, once it's laid down with one end butt against the post you put in, you uh, burn a belt, uh, you go back about 12 to 16 inches from the tip of the other end, and that's where you drive your next post. So and I'm going to do this one with the lugs facing in, just because. <laughs> I don't suppose it matters you're, if you're using those plastic clips. I think they will clip in any orientation. I think I might go ahead, I, I feel like the instructional video I saw <laughs> said to install them facing each other, and they were doing the second post, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and do that.
If you know better, let me know in the comments section. Oh, brilliant. That one's hard. Hey, I got it. Okay, so now uh, the first thing I like to do is the bottom one first. So I'll go ahead and grab my little assembly that I made. And uh, since I'm going to do the bottom corner, I'm going to have this oriented like this instead of the top like that. So I'm going to have it oriented like that, and then I'm going to come in. And I think I'm going to be able to just, you got to keep these, uh, these little squares that stick out, you got to keep them on top in the back, and they'll catch on the back of that when it pushes up against the T-post flange. But uh, let me try this and see what happens. And you got to twist this square a certain way so then it'll slide down over the post. It'll only just keep jimmying turn it until you you feel the, the orientation is free to go down. And you bring it all the way down. Oh, I'm gonna go all the way down. Oh. And here I am. I am between and I'm sliding the lock in and the lock went in really easy because uh, this is actually the best orientation for that I think. So then the second one, put that one together. So this is the lock, put, keep that for later. Now, uh, uh, oh I never noticed this is actually not quite square. I bet there's actually a, a good way to, an optimal way to do that. I'm going to do it like this, and my corner is coming up. So you've got to actually uh, go from the underside and make sure it clicks again so you can watch it click. Whew. Sorry. You can watch it click all the way up against this that that catches the plate there. So now this one's ready to pop on and lock. And uh he's actually the oh, okay. Woo! Woo! For a second there that wasn't looking good. But uh yeah make sure your uh, lock is oriented the right way. And it always, I think the lock always goes on the longest leg of the T-post. It won't, it won't work any other way. So regardless of which way uh, you orient all this, um, I'm going to actually make it lower. Uh, just make sure you put the lock on the, on the longest leg of your T-post. And make sure those uh, little squares sticking out are at the top. And uh, for, because I'm going to be coming in with another brace, I'm going to put this one lower down, and uh, that way it will give me room to do my second brace this way. So I got it where I want it, I'll just put this in there. I'm on a lug right now, so I don't like that, so I'm going to back it off. And it's uh, interesting. <laughs> Remember that shape of that square I was telling you? Oh, well, yeah, it worked. Good, there it is. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh. So now, you got to put the actual brace on. And you just pop it in the hole of the lower socket. And then you bring it in and pop it in the top socket. Boom! 
that's it. So then uh, you're going to you're gonna have this tensioned this way and this way. So this brace will keep the top of this post from going this way because it will be pushing against it. But when you tension it with cables, you're going to pull the brace this way. So they're gonna, the tension and the compression are going to cancel out, and this should be nice and sturdy. That actually went really well. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment below this video uh, uh, section. In the description below this video, I'll include the links for everything that I think is useful. <laughs> We're doing this, but let us know if you have any questions. My email, or email will be in the description below as well. Thank you.